Let's see how we are going to graph a of x equals sine x minus pi over 6. We know sine x is the graph of this dotted line. Huh. Sine x starts from the origin. Okay. And then gets into the maximum value pi over 2 and the maximum value is 1 and then we see when x equals pi then we have a sine x hit x axis means y value is 0 huh. so basically for sine x this dotted line has five key points zero zero maximum value at pi over two hit x axis again at pi goes to the minimum at three pi over two that's the fourth point and the fifth point it goes back to x axis at 2 pi. Now we see apparently this solid line uh, is actually shifted pi over 6 units to the right. That will be the graph of this one. So we need to know why this graph is shifted positive direction with pi over 6 units and are not shifted to the left with pi over 6 unit. So here is the table we want to look at. Huh. We know x minus pi over 6, this quantity, the big quantity, uh, x minus pi over 6. If this big quantity or this big quantity choose 0 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over t or 2 pi, this big quantity, huh? then sine this big quantity will be sine 0, then which is 0. Huh? Sine pi over 2 will be 1. Sine pi is 0 sine this quantity 3 pi over 2 is negative 1 and sine 2 pi ah, this big quantity because x minus pi over 6 this big quantity if equals 2 pi then we have a sine 2 pi is 0 okay so in order to have uh, this big quantity x minus pi over 6 is 0, then x has to be pi over 6. Because if you plug in pi over 6 into this x, uh, replace this x with pi over 6, then you are able to have a pi over 6 minus pi over 6 is 0. Okay, that's why you have a pi over 6 as an initial value here okay then you plug in here you get zero so pi over six minus pi over six is zero so you then have a sign zero this big quantity is zero now so you have a zero that's why you have one x is pi over six uh, it's pi over six at this place you make the whole quantity be zero, and then sign this big quantity will be zero. So that's why initially this x has to be starting from here, and then you get zero. Okay. So similarly, you can look at this one. Okay, and for this one. Uh, 4 pi over 6. I didn't reduce that. Uh, 
there is a reason for this. Okay, it's because I want everyone to see three pi plus pi. Pi is actually one pi. So three pi plus one pi is four pi, huh? And then downstairs they are all six. Okay, then you know you add all numerator without a change denominator. When you plug in this quantity, uh, 3 pi over 6 plus pi over 6, into this expression, uh, or you replace this x with 3 pi over 6 plus pi over 6, okay? Then you minus pi over 6, you have a 3 pi over 6 left. Uh, then 3 pi over 6, is reduced to pi over 2. Okay, so then what you have is this big quantity, x minus pi over 6. When x equals 4 pi over 6, this big quantity will be pi over 2. Uh, then sine this big quantity means sine pi over 2, which is 1 sine pi over 2 is 1. Huh. That means x value is 3 pi over 6 plus pi over 6. Again, 3 pi over 6 is reduced to pi over 2, means when x choose pi over 2 plus pi over 6, this value, then you will have a sign this big quantity choose the maximum value 1. Uh, that will be right here. Huh? Because 4 pi over 6 is reduced to 2 pi over 3. Okay? So that's why you have a pi over 2 add 3 pi over 6 is pi over 2. Uh, and then add pi over 6 will be this point. You get maximum value one. Okay, so if you I have checked this point and this point, so I have checked two key points. You may enjoy to check this point, this point, and this point, and then you will see the graph is actually shifted, uh, pi over six to the positive direction, uh, means to the right. Okay. For example, this one is quite easy to see. Huh? 13 pi over 6, subtract pi over 6, you get 12 pi over 6, which is 2 pi. Okay, then sine 2 pi, this big quantity. Okay, and then you will have a 0. You can see pi over 6, pi over 6, pi over 6, pi over 6, pi over 6 everywhere. Huh. So you add pi over 6 to the right. They are all addition here. Okay? Alright. Please review this lecture. I'll see you next time.